Do you have this problem that you can't copy files to your external hard drive? I will show you how to solve it and share a few extremely important things to keep in mind during the process. Ok, let's get straight to the point. The reason is in most cases that the file system is NTFS, which is a Microsoft file system for Windows computers. And I want to address a warning. This tutorial involves a reformatting of your hard drive and everything on it will be gone. So make a backup of it. As a minimum, put all files temporarily on your local drive. And if you don't have the space on your local drive, I actually recommend buying a second drive for the uh, backup or the file transfer to a second drive. And here I would like to take the opportunity to recommend Backblaze as a cloud backup. I am not sponsored by Backblaze, but I have a small commission on the link. I don't recommend softwares that I don't use myself. And as you can see, I use Backblaze myself and I'm very happy with it. If you have any questions about Backblaze, let me know in the comments. Back to your hard drive. What you need to do is to format your hard drive to a file system that your Mac can both read and write. Go to the disk utility. The quickest way is to hit command space and type disk utility. In disk utility it's extremely important that you select the correct drive because this process will erase everything on the selected drive. So I select my external drive and as you can see the file system is NTFS. Then I select erase. This is where all the files will be erased and uh, why the backup is so important. You can give your drive a witty name here, then you select your file system. If you already have PC files or if you want to be able to share the drive between both Mac and PC, you want to use a file system called XFAT. It's one of the most compatible file systems that Mac, PC and other devices such as most smart TVs can use, so I'm gonna choose XFAT. If you are 100% sure that you only want to use your drive for Macs, you should use HFS Plus or APFS, but uh, then you should be aware that you will get the problem the other way around, that you can't use it on PCs or other non-Mac devices. Let me know in the comments if you want to know more about Mac file systems and I can make a separate video about that. When you have your desired file system hit the race, sit back and watch your Mac working its magic. And when it's done you will be able to write files to your hard drive. If you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up that really helps me building my channel. And just leave a comment if you have any questions regarding this. Thanks for watching.